to attention and the band will play the school anthem of which all the students here will also sing along.
Now the great commander is going to ask permission to all the arms stand free to our teeth for delivery of speech. If there will be from the CDS. Exemplify the tenets, the teachings, and of course, the education that we get from Prampe College. And I'm happy that this great school and the great cadet corps are what have made me who I am today. I'm really taking pride in this. As I speak, I have a lot of tears. I remember some years back, over 40 years ago, I was wearing this type of uniform. And I had the RSM who used to drill us. And one day he said, one of you is going to grow and swim like a fish. And policy sue and become the greatest in the Ghana Armed Forces. Those of us who were at the back were saying in our heads, You see a prophet? Let us the dying know that I was the chosen one. But after that day, when I went back to Sewa House, my house, the only house in the school, yeah. of course it is. Well, there are others, but Sewa House is the house. And when I went and reflected on what the RSM said, I immediately told myself that I can do it. And so despite the fact that I had very good grades, I was the second best or highest in Ashanti region that year. I didn't go to the university. I followed my dream. I went to the military academy and trained for two years. I started pursuing my dreams. The sum of it all is that
for the new of God in this world. Thank you for such a wonderful day that you have set aside for us. Thank you for all that you have
not only the list of distinguished alumni, but the fact that each of them left here with a sense of duty and a desire to give back, to lead with compassion, and to make a difference. Ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate this incredible milestone, we must also acknowledge the support Redmond College has received along the way from the Akufuado government. Since 2017, government has been committed to making Redmond even stronger, helping it become a place where students and staff can flourish. The completion of Alpha Clark House in 2017, the addition of the Matthew Boko House in 2019, and the renovation of staff bungalows that same year, We've invested in making more than a welcoming place to learn and to teach. The asphalting of campus roads in 2019 made it easier and safer to move around, while a new Golden Dragon bus and the Toyota Hilaris at Pekka were provided in 2020 to support both school and administrative needs. More recently, JAK, the Jack Auditorium, was completed in 2023, giving Brentwood a modern venue for gathering, events, and celebrations like today. This year, this year we also finished the age block and added much needed space for students. Each of these projects has made life here just a little bit better, a little bit easier, and a lot more enjoyable. Because when we support education, thereby opening doors to opportunities that can transform their lives and contribute to national development. From the initial annual enrollment of 422,940 in 2017, some 503,000 children entered senior high school this year, the highest ever enrollment of children into senior high school in a single year in our history. With 5.7 million children having so benefited from the free SHS policy since it was instituted in September 2017. Indeed, in 2016, the total enrollment was 800,000. Today, it is 1.6 million, double the 2016 Our attachment to education is further reflected in the unprecedented budgetary allocations we have made to the sector. My government has consistently prioritized education in our national budget, allocating more resources to this sector than any previous administration. These funds have been used to improve infrastructure, promote education at all levels. This substantial financial undertaking underscores our belief that education is the bedrock of national progress and prosperity. The net effect of these investments is that in 2023, last year, we have the best vaccine results in the history of the examination. We have managed not only to widen access, but also to improve quality. The considerable budgetary allocations within the period totaling some 12.8 billion seniors amplify, amply illustrate the sheer determination of the Akufuelo government to ensure that education becomes a catalyst around which the transformation of our nation revolves. I am particularly proud of how in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic and other dire economic constraints, we were able to sustain the free SHS program and enhance it even further with the addition of free TVET and free STEM without compromising the needs 
of the lower levels of our educational system. I'm even equally proud that during the pandemic, unlike in many other countries, like the United States of, of America, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, the requisite logistical and safety arrangements, we managed to keep our schools open so that our children did not lose a year of their education. <laughs> Me, I'm proud to say that Prentka College has been a shining example of what our nation's youth can achieve when given the opportunity. <laughs> Prentka College has consistently excelled in academics, pro proving year after year that its students are among the best. Just look at the vaccine results. Since 2018, Prepper has achieved, has achieved pass rates that will make any school proud. 2018, 2018 social studies had a pass rate of 98.4%, while integrated science reached an outstanding 99.2%. This tradition of excellence has continued year after year. In 2023, the school achieved 100% pass rates in social studies and English, and over 98% in integrated science and mathematics. <laughs> Lest we forget, these are all beneficiaries of the free SHS policy. graduates. <laughs> These numbers speak volumes about the dedication of our students, the strong support of our, their teachers, of their families, and most importantly, the commitment and passion of the teachers who work tirelessly behind the scenes. The faculty here at Redbeck College is a force to be reckoned with. And I think they deserve a huge round of applause for being the of the team. It is clear that Premier students are taught, are not just taught to pass exams, but are equipped to thrive in life. This is education at its finest. Education that prepares you like before. Now, thanks so much, Mr. President, for honoring this. Uh, uh,